why have you added a stereo mastering chain into the Dolby Atmos studio? Now, to the right of me here, I have a sidecar. To the left of me here, I have a sidecar. When I'm mastering, I'm literally turned around here and I'm like this. It's lovely to have two sidecars left and right of me and then have my S4 in the center. Now, the reason I've done this is for a few reasons. One of the reasons being we've got so much stereo mastering work as well as Dolby Atmos work, but stereo mastering, we have so much of it come through that we have to, we've got to build another studio. So we're now in the process of building our third mastering studio. Having this mastering chain in here, this is my mastering chain that I always use for analog mastering. I've brought it into here and taken it out of my other studio, I've put it into here. The reason for that being, is now what I can do, which I love doing, is mixing on the S4, mixing in Dolby Atmos. Uh, I can print the Dolby Atmos master. I can also print the binaural stereo master. I can then do the analog mastering in here, which is brilliant because it allows me to keep everything in one room. I can work faster. I can My, my workflow is better. And also my end products better because I'm in such an exceptional room mastering in here. I mean, mastering out of these speakers, these are incredible with the bass management, with the Trinov, they are exceptional. Um, so what I have here is um, my analog mastering chain. So what I'll do quickly is I'll turn the camera over to look at this rack. I'll go through this rack, all what I use this rack for, and then I'll jump over to that rack, tell you what I use that rack for. Right, so this chain consists of a Rupert Neve Portico 2, a uh, Empirical Labs Duressa, which is basically a Diessa, Firmus V3 uh, four band EQ, an Alicia Muse EQ, which is five band EQ, and I have the SSL Fusion. Now to start of the chain, I love to go into my Portico 2. Now the, what I use the Portico 2 for is I use it with the stereo field editor to comp in. So I'm using it as a stereo field editor. This is a basically a very, very high tech glorified uh, stereo widener. It's unbelievable. The next part of the chain is the SSL Fusion. Now the SSL Fusion is great because we've got a low and high shelf. Uh, we've also got a high frequency compressor and stereo image here. Uh, on the insert, I have the Muse EQ. Now, the reason I use the insert for the Muse EQ is you'll see it's blue and that is set into mid side. Now, what I then have is the mid side chain. So this is my mid, this, these are my sides. After this, I go to my stereo EQ where I've got left and right stereo EQ. After the EQ section, I go into my Deessa. That is the final stage of this chain. Then I move over to the other side. On this rack, we have a SPO iron, we have an Alicia envelope, we have a Golly cross comp compression EQ, and we have a Golly dynamic shelving EQ. The first, after that chain, what we hit into is our SPL iron mastering compressor. This is an incredible compressor for mastering. It's one of my favorites and I've got some of the best compressors money can buy and I love this compressor. The uh, air base, which I haven't actually got in on this master, is a brilliant, Brilliant uh, addition, love the airbase. Um, the Elysia envelope. Now I have the Elysia envelope straight off the compressor because what I like to do sometimes is add that compression and I'll eat, I like to just nudge a little bit of the transients back out. On the cross comp, the cross comp. Now this is something that has just come out from Golly and I'm a big, big fan of Golly units. And this I am massively impressed with. Um, I, I kind of took a punt at it, hadn't heard it before, liked the idea of it, I love everything else that Golly does, and I got one of these, it arrived, and I was pleasantly surprised. It is so unique, such a unique tool for mastering. Now you'll notice I have this at the very end of my chain, and what it's used for, and this is how I use it, is after everything. So what you would technically consider is this is your mar that, like this is your mastering compressor. This is where your chain kind of com gets compressed, and you could hit your limiter. That could be the end of your chain. But what I'm doing is I'm having this cross comp after this compression, and it's bringing out 
a touch of the low, touch of the bottom, and you can bring so many sweet tones out of this using this uh, kind of cross comp. It is an EQ and a compressor. You can get so much punch out of the compression. So that's why I use after that mastering compressor, I then hit the Golly Dynamic Shelving EQ. Now, the reason I hit that last is because then I have two roll-offs. I have low and high roll-off where I can roll some of the top off. I can roll, roll some of the bottom off. I can then dynamically EQ and just compress, not, not technically compress, but gain, re re gain reduce on the, um, on the high and the low very precisely. And this just smooths out my overall track and gets it sounding perfect. So there we have the analog mastering chain that is fitted in our Dolby Atmos studio. Now, one reason that we have built this mastering chain into here is so that we can do mastering and stereo mastering in here. Now, so not only are we doing all the analog mastering that's ordered with our mix and the mastering service in here as well, through this mastering chain. We are also doing, if you go onto the mastering page and you want to select mastering and you want to work with myself, you can now select to work with me in this studio and through this mastering chain. And the results are brilliant. I'm loving working in here. Um, I'm re very, very, very glad that I've brought my mastering chain in from the other room, put it into here, and now I have this exceptional room. I mean, I'm gonna move out of the way and let you just kind of see how good this room looks with me out of the way.